Nahimong mas mabulokon ang atong palibot pinaagi sa mga libro nga atong nabasa. Gibuksan ni ini ang atong imahinasyon sa kalibutan nga puno sa mahika ingon man sa pantasya. Pinaagi sa mga bantugang manunulat, ilang gihimong posible ang mga istorya nga kotob lang sa atong mga imahinasyon. Usana ni ini si multi-awarded og palangka awardee Ian Kasokot, lumad nga taga Dumaguete City. Ubay-ubay sa mga istorya o bakaha libro nga napagawas na, gipasidunggan. Gani, ni baguhay lang, aduna siya bagong libro nga matod pa, sold out na sa unang adlaw. Atong pakliun ang matagpahina siyang libro, aron ato siyang mas maila-ila, dinihilang sa GMA Regional TV Live. Ilailahon ta ang Palangka Awardee nga creative writer nga taga Dumaguete City. Atong makauban karong sa ato ang programa, si Mr. Ayan Rosales Kasokot. Mayong buntag, maupahe nga aga, Sir Ayan. Welcome sa GMA Regional TV Live. Sir, pakigreet sa ato ang mga kapuso. Ilabi na din ha sa Dumaguete City. Mayong buntag sa tanang kapuso din sa Dumaguete o sa Tibuok Central, Visayas. Hi, Cecil. Hello, sir. Nice to meet you here virtually. Sir Ayan, we would like to know, how do you usually start your morning, sir? Ilabi na for someone nga creative, sama ni mo. To answer your question, coffee. Coffee is the thing that gets me going first thing in the morning. And sir Ayan, speaking of being a creative person, you have published different stories which gave you a Palangka Award. Can you share this to us, sir? Sure, no problem. I've actually been writing for about 20 years now. And the thing that really gave me, granted me the confidence to really get into the writing was really the Palanka Awards. And since you're asking about that, the first Palanka I won was way back in 2002. And I think I've won about five right now. And the thing that I valued the most is the first prize for the short story that I won, I think, in 2011. And I'm, I, I'm very, very particular about that story where I won first prize in because I really wrote it about my mother. A lot of my stories are about my mother. But what was special about that story that won me my first prize in the Palanga was really the fact that it was a story of faith, you know, believing in things you don't see. And the title of the story is uh, Things You Believe In. Pero sir, ayan, kano sa ni mo na bantayan nga aduna kay abilidad ni ining creative writing o kinsa usab ang nag-aghat kanimo nga ipalambo kini nga talento. Kabulo ka bata pa jud ko ani. But the thing is, dili ako naka-notice when I was a grade school student in public school in West City Elementary School here in Dumaguete. Daghan kay kog mga teachers, teachers gyud nga maayo. Sila yung nakanotis, dili ako. Pero sir, makahinumdum pa ba ka sir sa labing unang istorya nga imong nasuwat ka ni Antog? Estudyante pa ka? Unsa po ito nga istorya sir? <laughs> oh my God, makaulang. Kabulog ka sa kong unang isulat sa itong mga grade 4 padagway ko about a kid nga naa siya'y pet ng gorila ng King Kong gamay. So I'd like... Na, na, nakita na ko actually siya mga a few days ago like, galanta ko sa mga old nga mga notebooks it's like and then this story in English na ang mga grammar the balintong you know like but I had it, it's actually sometimes nice to look back into what you've written before o sa kadaghan ni mong nasuwat sir Ayan o siya maingon ni mong pinaka memorable yun nga story nga imuhang na-publish baghan kayo Cecil pero since I'm going to promote the book that I'm uh, that I've just published right now. Kani akong i kani akong i-share nimo. Mo ni siya. Okay? Ang title ani nga book is The Great Little Hunter. It's about a boy. It is actually my first children's book. Okay? And it's illustrated by Hersley Ben Casero, a Dumaguete artist. And I actually am very very fond of this book right now and the story here because it is about a boy who overcomes his fears. Okay, it's about a boy who, medyo had looks as a dark, and then his father told him na, actually, ikaw, mga ngayam ka, ang mga ang, ang kanang mga ngayam hunter na yung bisaya, so a hunter of monsters, so you're actually a hero, you can actually do a lot, okay? So he dreamt about that, and then he woke up into this forest inside his bedroom. Busa sir ayan asa ni nila pedeng magalit ug ma order sir. Kani? Amo Ningi launched actually last last April 
10. Last Palm Sunday, na launch na April 10. Within 27 hours, na sold out dayon siya. These are beautiful paintings by the artist, firstly Ben Casero. So it not only is a children's book for me, it is also an art book. So we were trying, uh, we were trying to make this a limited edition. Congratulations, sir! Has a very successful Lama launch sa inyo hang first edition, and we look forward, sir, nga makakuha po mig amo ang kaugalingong kopya sa second edition no. na usab. Busa sir ayan sa mga <laughs> Sir ayan sa mga nagsugod pa lang og baid sa ilahang abilidad sa creative writing unsay mahatag nimo nga tambag nila sir ilabi na sa mga batan-on. There are only really two ways to write uh, go about sharpening your writing skills especially if you're young. If you're young, the first one good is really reading. I started out as a reader, but there's also the writing part. Kung ganan ka mo sulat, dapat sulat, bisang git kay maayo. Kay writing, mangood, I consider that a muscle. And you have to flex your muscle. Thank you kayo, sir, ha, sa mga words of inspiration ng imong gihatag. Busa, isip pa na po sa atong interview, sir, ayan, sa mensahe nga gusto ni mong ipaabot para sa ato ang mga kapuso, ilabi na din sa Central and Eastern Visayas. Okay. Ang ako na kong masulti karun is that, you know, like, uh, we are actually, I hope we are coming to the end of this pandemic right now. So what we, uh, what I hope everybody can learn is one way to escape and one way to strengthen ourselves is actually to, you know, strengthen our mind, strengthen our soul. So basa. And hopefully uh, books like this can, you know, it can give us a way of like, a way of like taking an insight into the human condition. Daghang salamat usab kanimo sir Ayan sa panahon ni mong gihatag para kanamo. Daghang salamat sir. Daghang salamat kayo ni yung tanan.